In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create your own presets in Lightroom. Hello, photographer. Welcome back to my channel. For the ones who doesn't know me yet, my name is Silvia. I'm a specialist in the magazine style of maternity photography. In this channel, I talk about photography editing techniques to help you make more money with your photos. Now, let's get into the video. First, what are the Lightroom presets? Pretty much is a group of adjustments saved in one button. In the develop tab, you can see on your left the presets. So it's going to be right here. So instead of you going in every photo and creating the same adjustments over and over again, you can just click the button and Lightroom will do all the adjustments for you in less than a second. The cool thing about the presets is that you can also be retweaking. So let me just show you right here. I'm going to click in a preset here. Here's the before and after, a small adjustment. But the cool thing about um, the presets is that you can always just retweak. Here are the settings that it was added to my photo. I can actually open up and put more lighting on the shadows if I want to. So I can always just readjust a little bit of the adjustments in the preset. Now let's see how we can actually create the preset. So the first thing that you need to have is some adjustments to your photo. So let's do some adjustments to the photo. Um, let's say that I want to bring up a little bit more of the shadows. And I want to make and I want the highlights to be a little bit more intense as well. The blacks, I'm going to do a little bit darker. This is perfect. Now let's work with colors and do something a little bit different. So I'm going to go to curves and on the red one, I'm going to remove some red and add some cyan because when you're removing red, you're adding the opposite color on the color wheel. So the opposite color of red is cyan. So I'm just going to drag the curve down and I'm going to add some cyan. I think this is good. Now I'm going to go to color grading and I'm actually going to add a little bit of cyan on the highlight as well. So I'm doing something very, very different. Now on the shadows, I'm going to do a little bit of warm tones. I like this kind of um, pinkish tone. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to the basic tab and I'm just going to give a little bit more contrast in my photo. This is perfect. So now we have a few adjustments here and let's say that I really liked the results that I got here. I can go to the preset tab and I'm going to click in the plus sign, create preset. And I'm going to select check all. You can check all the adjustments from all the tabs. But you can also just check, I'm going to select check none and just select the tabs that you tweak. So in my case was the basic tab. It was the one that I was working with the light, the curves. So I can select the curves here as well and the color grading. That's what I tweaked in my photo. You can do that or you can just click check all. I'm just going to leave it like this. Now I need to give a name to the preset and you can say whatever name you want. So I'm just going to say blue tones and you can put this preset in the new group so you can create a group here. Do you see that I have SV Studio and I have a few presets inside of kind of a folder? So the group would be like a folder where you have many other presets. So for example, if you have a photography brand, you can create a group and you can use the name of your brand. So let's say Sylvia's photography and I'm going to hit create and now my preset named blue tones is going to be inside of the folder Sylvia's photography. So now I'm going to click create and if you see here, we have just created the group Sylvia's photography and now I have a preset. So let's create one more preset. I'm going to have the same lightings here. I'm just going to do something slightly different. I'm going to have more magenta. I'm going to do a little bit of blue here. And now this is good. This is a different color. Let's say that in this one, I want to do a little bit more of clarity. 
and texture. Okay, perfect. This is good. So I'm going to create another preset. So I'm going to click in the plus sign, create preset. I'm going to give another name, magenta tones. I'm going to um, make sure that I have selected everything that I have tweaked it. So I'm just going to click check off on this one. I'm going to go and make sure that I have in the group folder that I want and I'm going to hit create. And now I have created another preset. So I can go to blue. The blue is more green actually, right? I can just rename as well the preset. So I can just click with the right um, click on the mouse and you can just go here, rename. And I'm going to say that it's actually green tones. So I can just go through every preset that you have created. And now you don't need to remember exactly what you did to get to the results that you got. You have everything with just one click away. And the cool thing is that you can go to another photo, for example, this one, and you can use the adjustments as well. So you have the green tones, you have the magenta, and you just need to click the button and Lightroom will do everything for you in less than a second. Now you know how to create your own presets and this can give you like the same identity for your photos. Um, it can save you a lot of time in your editing workflow. It can be very beneficial if you know how to work the photos. And again, the cool thing about the presets is that you can always tweak a little bit more as well. Let's say that this photo is a little bit too magenta, so I can just go back and make a little bit more green. It's too dark, so you can just go up a little bit with the exposure. You can always tweak to make sure that you work um, for your photo. Click the like button if this video was helpful for you. If you want to know other ways to improve your skills to make more money with photos, check out my latest video here on the screen. Also subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week. For now, this is everything. I hope this video was really helpful. Until next time.